Okay, so in the last video, I kind of had this same thing up. I changed uh, one uh, one item, so I'll, I will go over this again. So again, if we need to figure out our market shares, we're going to do revenue of the firm over revenue of the industry. That'll give us a decimal. We would usually convert that decimal into a percentage, you know, such as the company owns 8% of the market. Uh, in my For my students, I want you to use the whole number, so we would use 8 instead of 8%, which would normally be 0 0.08. Okay, so over here in the last video, I had just the percentages. Here, what I've done is in order to figure out the Herfindahl measure, we're going to square the market shares and then sum the market shares. Now, this is really important. You square and then sum. You never sum and then square. You will get the wrong answer. Okay, so in the last video, I think I said that the CR4 level was 77. We will almost always say that a CR4 level of 77 is a, uh, an oligopoly or at least tending towards oligopolistic um, competition. So let's see what we get when we talk about the Herfindahl. In this case, we're going to square each of these numbers, and, uh, and I have the, the product of that square on the right side. So 41 squared, 21 squared, 9 squared, and 6 squared. And when we add all those up, we get a Herfindahl level of 2239. Remembering that our bounded range is 0 and 10,000. And as I probably described in class, the Department of Justice labels 1,800 the minimum threshold for moder moderately concentrated. And 1,800 is important because in industries that are oligopolistic, uh, 1,800 is where the Department of Justice will normally start to really look at certain types of behaviors within industries, such as collusion and uh, merger activity. So we would say that this industry at 2239 is oligopolistic, um, and the, uh, again, the CR4 of 77 and the Herfindahl of 2239 would lead us to that conclusion. The importance of the Herfindahl is that because we're squaring the market shares, that squaring effect is picking up the distribution between competitors. So we could have a CR4 of 77 where we have four equal competitors of about 19 or 20 percent apiece, and in that case, our Herfindahl would be much lower, and that would tell us that the competitive effects are not as um, that the competitive effects are different and and not as contentious as they would be with a higher Herfindahl level.